boy who called himself Inominat. Could he really be Velvet's younger brother? It could have been an illusion intended to torment her. Don't you agree, Eleanor? I do. Velvet's objective is avenging her brother, after all. We've all seen how strongly she feels about it. I find it hard to believe that the one so dear to her is still alive. I don't know what powers Inominat possesses, but I think that really was her little brother. Velvet was able to see past Melchior's illusions. But look at her now. I just don't want to believe that the real Lafi could do such a thing. Could it be possible that Inominat was reborn into her brother's body? I don't know. But if that was the case, I'm not sure Velvet would be in so much agony. Yes, I guess. Inominat actually being Velvet's brother. It makes a twisted sort of sense. But it's too awful. It's okay. I'm... tired. Have you been journeying long, then? Ten years. My master entrusted everything to me. But I couldn't do anything. Ten years? My wings are weak. It... it doesn't matter anymore. I see. If you've been working that hard, you surely need a break. I just happened to get my hands on some prickle boar meat. I'll be cooking up a stew for dinner. But would you care to join me? Huh? No, I... All I have on me now is this apple. Here. Once your belly is full of warm food, you'll be able to pick yourself back up. I can feel it. Your body is shouting, I want to live. I'm a disgrace. I don't deserve to live. Is life something you have to earn? To deserve? Well... These feelings are natural. You eat when you're hungry and cry when you're sad. Feeling these things is proof that we're alive. Alive? What's your name? Mine is Celica. Celica Crow. I'm an exorcist. Artori... No, Arthur. I'm Arthur. What in the world was that? Rokuro! Aizen! You saw it too, then? Sure did. Artorius. And he called himself Arthur. I've heard of this. The Earth and Historia. They say that events on the world's surface cast imprints on the Earth Pulse that runs below. In other words, an illusion of the past. It's not an illusion. That was my sister. So, you managed to fool her too, is it? Yes. Yes, that must be it. That's why she freed me from the prison. 
Rokuro, have you recovered from your wounds? Yep. Tough as nails, that's old Rokuro. I'm more worried about Velvet. Is she okay? Uh, how could she be okay? You know me not as reborn, and it's her little brother. A blade can't just be hard. It's gotta be flexible. I misunderstood the true meaning of strength, and so did he. Let's just worry about ourselves for now. This Earth Pulse is completely under Inominat's domain. Yeah, which means my power won't get us out of here. Be wary. Inominat may be the one showing us these memories. Remember, he's after Velvet. And the two types of malevolence inside her. True. And we may be able to use that against him to get us out of here. What are you saying? Just use her? If it's necessary. We have to keep moving. Nothing will be gained by staying here. And we ought to look for Magilu. So, what is this Earthen Historia you mentioned? As I've said, an Earth Pulse is a natural force that circulates within the land. Wind blows, water flows, birds fly, flowers bloom. All actions in nature leave their mark on the Earth Pulse. These marks become etched within the land itself and remain a part of the Earth Pulse, like memories. So it's a record of the world's past. Does it remember human and Moloch deeds? Everything that occurs is part of nature. So that means that even this very conversation is being recorded in- Anything bad I've done in secret, any insults you've ever told behind someone's back. My... insults? It's just an example. Does that mean that Inominat is drawing specific memories from the Earth and Historia and showing them to Velvet? I believe so, with the Earth itself as his vessel. It's a trick only Inominat could pull off. Awfully devious for a self-styled Empyrean. But the attack did strike home. Right. Welcome home, Arthur. Hi, Selica. I fixed the fence around the house. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. With the brigands stepping up their attacks, the town elders have been worried. But this should put their minds at ease. No. If the brigands turn into demons, a mere fence won't stop them. Hmm? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty confident in my carpentry. And the other two? Probably at the Cape again. I've warned them a hundred times that it's dangerous. Luffy said probably badgered Velvet into going. Don't worry, she'll watch out for him. Yeah, I can only hope that this little one grows up to be as strong as she is one day. Huh? You're happy, I hope. Of course I am. <laughs> I never thought I could ever be this happy.
I... I only wish I'd known earlier. I would have made something even nicer for you. Oh, you made this for me? Yeah. I put all my heart into it. I'll cherish it always. It'll remind me of this happy day. Let this serve as proof of our love. This I swear. I swear to protect you both with my life. That's Lord Artorius's past. <laughs> Oh, that's rich! You mean you believe that tripe? It's all a pack of lies. His smile. His promise. Everything. up his lies without questioning a word what a joke velvet didn't know those things about artorius and celica did she probably not that was when the two were alone and first getting to know each other we were seeing glimpses of a warm, loving family. But really, it just gave me the creeps. Same here. He's trying to get at Velvet. I think she used to truly love Lord Artorius. Having that happy past thrust in front of her at a time like this must be tearing her apart. Probably. But a demon like me wouldn't understand. What Velvet is going through is horrible. But I approach it just a little bit. Because like her, I was his pupil. Artorias said he needed two types of malevolence to awaken in Ominat. The illusions at a ball, making sure we knew about the attack on Titania, and Inominat appearing as her brother. If all of that was planned to extract the malevolence from her, we'd all better brace for worse to come. I'll show you the beauty of my shield! <laughs> Killing flash, but I'm just close. I won't miss. Form zero. Thunder. They were nothing. Many of them. Celica, I'm coming. It's too late. Take Velvet and Lafayette and run. I can't do that. I want to have my life with you, with our child.
Why? Why? Why couldn't I? Why couldn't I protect my own family? Remember this moment well, Artorius. Humans are weak, filled with sin. Malkio. The people of this village offered you and your beloved family up to the demon brigands. A sacrifice, so that they could escape and hide. No, they wouldn't. It happens often. The reason people act on is burdened by the weight of their sins. However... I have found a method to adjust their reason. A domain? What is this incredible power? Don't tell me the Empyrean we've been searching for was here this whole time. Malachim. So they have been reborn, but be not deceived. They are not the same people you knew. Why? Why must fate be so cruel? It appears that Inominat's resurrection is incomplete. We must guide him until we understand why. I'll be taking these Malakim. Wait! I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. I'll make things right. I'll abandon who I am. Nameless Moloch. I will forge a pact with you. I will put an end to all the pain in this world. Do you have it in you? You who abandoned my friend's ideals and fled. On the souls of my dead master, wife, and child, this I swear. My name is Artorius Colbrand. I have inherited the will and the strength of Claude in Asgard, former head of the Exorcists. Very well. Let tonight's tragedy change fate and birth salvation. That Moloch, it was me. You don't remember? Not at all. They said you were reborn as a Moloch. That means... What exactly? The soul of a human who passed away can, given the right trigger, be reborn as a Moloch. You're saying that Artorius's child was reborn as Lafayette? If what we saw was real, yes. <laughs> uh, so the female Moloch that was born along with him was... My sister's reincarnation. But I ate her long ago. You... you didn't know, right? I knew. I had already caught on to who Ceres really was. Velvet. But it doesn't matter. What does it change? I'll devour anything to fulfill my goal. My sister. My brother. Even the world. That's who I am. That's all I am.
Aizen, you said a human soul can be reborn as a Moloch given the right trigger, right? Is that something that happens frequently? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. We know that humans are sometimes reborn as Malachim, but not how or why. It's more likely among people with greater resonance. Huh. So it's not something that happens or that can be made to happen easily. But Velvet's sister was reborn as Ceres, and her unborn child came back as Lafayette. What are the chances of that? It might not have been chance. They both died on the Scarlet Night. Are you saying that Inominat made it happen on purpose? Call it an educated guess. But I don't think even an Empyrean can control the lives of humans or Malachim at his whim. If it wasn't chance, it might have been destiny. Velvet said she ate Ceres, her own sister reborn as a Moloch. How could such a horrible thing be destiny? Sorry. I didn't mean to make light of a tragedy, but our fates intertwine, the good and the bad, whether we like it or not. True. But this Get a hold of yourself, Eleanor. They'll be looking to you to light their way. Yes. I must remain calm and steady. Look! Over there! An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about, alone. <laughs> Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Night. Ah, yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominat. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes, that's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete, and his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Luffy said. Can't I be the sacrifice? <laughs> Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too weak as they are. That's why I must fly. Now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Luffy said, why would you say such a thing? The Twelve-Year Sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. I'm not afraid of being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Lies. Please. You can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Don't 
don't talk to me about will, about wings, both of you, together, you, you betrayed me! Whoa, hey, what's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Hurry back, I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. Shut up! He fell further than this back at the shrine. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lafayette! Lafayette knew so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is this thing? An amalgamation of multiple demons? It doesn't matter what it is! I'll devour it until it's dead! Armor Crusher! Armor Crusher! Oh, stop! Hurricane, go blue! Oh, stop! 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 Oh, stop